Kathy and this is Garrett. We're with the Grit and Polish and we're here today with Lowe's to take on a window. Here in the Tacoma converted garage, we have a lot of cold elements, white walls, concrete floors. I decided to go for a layered look because I really wanted to bring in some warmth and some natural materials. And um, we've got bamboo roller shades and we've got cotton drapes and they're gonna get layered over the window, bring in a lot of warmth and kind of a nice welcoming feel. You know, despite having owned six houses and used them a ton, we never knew you could take your roller shades to Lowe's and get them cut to width. So we ordered an oversized bamboo shade and we took it into Lowe's and we had him cut it perfectly so it'll fit right inside our window. So the window that we're working on today is actually the biggest window in the whole place and it's south facing. So it gets a ton of light and the bamboo Roman shade that we're using is gonna serve to block most of that out. We got it cut specifically to size so it's gonna be a tight fit. And if you're watching TV in here or it's night and you don't want that extra light, you'll be able to just block draw those. Yeah. Throw them down. <laughs> you can throw those down and cut the light out. So I went with some pretty neutral and basic cotton curtain panels that we found at Lowe's.com. And um, these have tabs on the back, which is a great way to hang them. I um, mean, you just stick the rod right through. But I like to buy these um, these hooks with rings and you put the, um, you just slide those right onto the curtain rod and then hook the curtain to them. And it just gives it a little extra element of, I don't know, interest, a little oomph. And it also makes it easier to open and shut the, the drapery panels. So we're going to be installing these today and I don't think it should take us more than maybe an hour. Um, it should be a pretty quick process. All right, so the first step is going to be to measure for the height of the curtain rod and we want to get it just so that the curtain panel hangs down nicely and barely kisses the ground. Yeah, there's a few schools of thought on how far the curtain panel should hang on the ground. Um, I like it to just barely kiss the ground. Some people like to hang it maybe an inch above and some people like to puddle it on the ground. Once we have our height, we're gonna put our curtain rod brackets in. We have these slightly industrial kind of looking brackets for this space, uh, but Lowe's has a lot of options you could check out and find one that's, that's great for your style. Since our walls have a VG for paneling that's like an inch thick already, we don't need to add any kind of um, anchor but if you're going into drywall, they do provide sheetrock anchors. Also, one tip is that if you keep your uh, bracket just above the edge of the window molding, you're likely to hit a stud. Once we have the curtain rod up, we're gonna go ahead and attach the drapes and then we'll mount the Roman shades right inside both windows. All right, so we're done. And we got these done in about maybe an hour, hour and a half. So it was a really quick project, just a couple tools, um, a little teamwork, and yeah, our windows are dressed. Yeah, they went up really quickly. We installed simply using our impact driver. We had a drill bit to pre-drill for the screws and our 
actual Philips Robit. So very simple install. And the gray curtain kind of brings your eye from the floor up to the ceiling and... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really elevates the height of the space, which is one thing I love about doing drapery panels. Um, these are definitely decorative. Uh, you know, we'll probably never close them. But um, yeah, it really brings your eye up and it, that nice black rod at the top, you know, really heightens the... I don't know, gives it, gives it kind of a cap right at the top. So I love that. I love the industrial feel of the rod and those big rings. And I really love the combination of the gray drapery panel with the wood tones of the bamboo. I think it's a really pretty combination and I, and I just really think these turned out awesome. Yeah,